it seems that December comes to the Arizona Garden at just the right time. Just as things are getting busier with the holidays, things in the garden are slowing down. December brings harvests of citrus and many other vegetables in the garden. The Arizona Garden in December is a beautiful place. Chilly mornings means afternoon is now my favorite time to spend in the garden. In today's video, I'm going to share the tasks that need to be done this month, as well as a few things you can do to be prepared for things that may happen this month. And believe it or not, there's actually quite a few things that you can plant this month in your Arizona garden. Stay tuned to the end where I give you a quick tour of what's growing in my garden this month. December is actually a good time in Arizona to plant fruit trees. You'll start to see bare root and potted fruit trees in the nurseries. Usually potted fruit trees are a better choice for planting in Arizona, but you can also plant bare root. Just be sure that that fruit tree doesn't need more than 400 chill hours. Do you have more questions about which fruit trees to plant? Head to my blog, I posted a fruit planting guide where I list types of fruit trees that grow really well here in the low desert. As temperatures cool, the watering needs of plants go way down. Be sure not to overwater your plants and shrubs and even your vegetable garden this month. Even your plants and containers will need less water this month. Hopefully we'll get a nice deep rain this month, but if we don't, consider giving all of your trees, including your fruit trees and citrus trees, a nice deep drink one time during the month. One thing I love about the December garden is the tomatoes. Believe it or not, the tomatoes that were planted either in July or August are beginning to ripen. Who doesn't love garden fresh tomatoes in the middle of December? There's plenty of fruit on the vines, but the cooler temperatures mean that the tomatoes may take a little bit longer to ripen. Once temperatures dip below 55 degrees at night, tomatoes often don't set new fruit, but that fruit that is already on the tomatoes will continue to ripen. So tomato plants are definitely frost sensitive. Be prepared to cover if temperatures are going to fall below 35 degrees at night. Another great thing about December are all the harvests of greens. Spinach, lettuce, kale, chard, bok choy. So many greens are harvested during the month of December. I really do love being able to walk out into the garden and harvest whatever greens we need that day. Harvest may even begin a little bit this month for all the vegetables in the brassica family. Broccoli and kohlrabi. If you're pulling out some of those plants and harvesting already, tuck some more plants in their place. Try and get another harvest in of those vegetables. Swiss chard is a favorite in my garden year round, but the taste seems to be the best in the cooler months. I like to replant Swiss chard each fall and enjoy those fresh baby tender greens. Garden fresh peas are one of our family's favorite vegetables. If you haven't planted them already, that's fine. There's plenty of time to plant. If you do have them planted and notice that peas are developing, make sure you keep those peas picked. Picking the peas young and often signals to the plant to produce more. Leaving the peas on the vine signals to the plant to slow down production and that its job is all done. December is a great month for citrus in the low desert. Keep an eye on your fruit as it begins to ripen. Color isn't always the indicator that fruit is ripening. It's more of an indicator of the temperature. As temperatures drop, the fruit will begin to change color. The best way to tell if citrus is ripe, pick one and try it. Luckily, there's usually plenty more on the tree if they're not quite ripe. And citrus usually keeps on the tree for a few weeks. Different types of citrus are ripe at different times. The season usually begins with lemon and limes followed by kumquats and mandarins, the calamondins, and then the sweet oranges. We may even see navel oranges begin to ripen. The grapefruit and blood oranges and Valencia oranges ripen after the first of the year. Be sure to harvest all of the fruit from your pomegranate trees, fallen fruit, and fruit left on the tree is a great place for bugs to hide and we really don't want to encourage populations, especially of those darn leaf-footed bugs. Deciduous fruit trees are turning color and losing their leaves this month. The color changing on pomegranate trees and peach trees is a sure sign that temperatures are falling. December is the month when we often have an abundance of leaves. And if you have a garden and a yard, 
don't throw those leaves away. Leaves are gold for your garden. Leave them in place in some areas, let them break down, add organic matter to the soil. They're also a great thing to add to your compost. If you're growing winter grass, winter grass mixed with leaves is a great mixture that breaks down really well in compost. If you don't want to compost, here's an easy way to break leaves down. Just simply bag them up into the black lawn bags and put them in the corner and that those leaves will begin to break down and you'll have this beautiful rich smelling leaf mold that you can apply it to your garden and mulch plants with. Hold on to those leaves, save the leaves. If you don't want them, bring them to me, I will take them. You can never have too many leaves in your garden. Once all the deciduous fruit tree leaves fall, that's the time to begin pruning. You can also apply horticultural oil at that point, but wait until the leaves are all off the trees before you do either of those. December is actually a good time to prune dormant woody trees and shrubs in your landscape. Don't prune any frost tender bushes or trees this month. There's also not a lot of fertilizing that needs to be done this month. Things are definitely slowing down. Some of our planting this month will be indoors. If you want to grow your own pepper and tomato and eggplant seedlings, December is the best month to get those started indoors. Start those seeds indoors towards the end of the month and those transplants will be ready to plant out in late February or early March. Believe it or not, December is also a great month to begin planning for your February and March planting. February and March are big planting months here in the low desert and December is a great time to evaluate and plan your garden space. Who doesn't love thumbing through seed catalogs? December is also a great time to buy gifts for the gardener in your life. There are a couple articles on my blog where I share some of my very favorite gifts for gardeners. If you live in the low desert, may I recommend my planting calendar as a great gift for the gardener in your life. This perpetual planting calendar has lists for every month of what to plant and pictures of what to harvest. If you don't have this yet, I highly recommend picking one up for the gardener in your life or tucking one in your own stocking. Although you can plant cold tolerant trees and bushes this month, it's better just to wait a little bit. New plantings are more susceptible to frost. For sure you want to wait until after last frost in February or early March before planting any frost sensitive plants like lantana or hibiscus. December is often the month of our first fall frost and hopefully you have some things on hand and you're prepared. If you see that temperatures are going to drop below 32 degrees, that is the time to cover some of those frost sensitive plants. If you're wondering what needs covered and what doesn't, head to my blog. I list all of those out because believe it or not, there are several vegetables that don't mind a little frost at all and it actually improves the taste and flavor of some vegetables. Herbs are growing well this month. Hopefully you've been enjoying harvests of the perennial and cool season herbs. If you still want to add some herbs to your garden this month, here are a few herbs that we can add during the month of December. Borage, chamomile, chives, cilantro, dill, fennel, garlic chives, lavender, parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Here's what else we can plant in the garden this month. Plant transplants of asparagus, celery, onions, and strawberries this month. Plant seeds or transplants of beets, bok choy, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, kohlrabi, lettuce, green onions, spinach, and Swiss chard. Here are the vegetables that should only be planted from seed this month. Carrots, peas, radishes, and turnips. It's not too late to plant cool season flowers. Many flowers that are planted now will bloom and be beautiful through April and May. If you haven't added cool season flowers to your garden and landscape, now's a great time. Here are some of my favorites. African Daisy, Alyssum, Calendula, Dianthus, Echinacea, Forget-Me-Not, 
geranium, lobelia, nasturtium, petunia, poppies, rudbeckia, snapdragon, stock, strawflower, sweet pea, and verbena. As promised, here's a quick tour of what's growing in my garden right now. enjoyed this video and got some ideas for some things that you can do in your garden this month. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful month.